Hi guys, I'm Britt and I'm going to show you how to customize templates on Canva. Let's get started. So here we are with a view of my screen. Now to customize a template on Canva, you're going to want to sign into your Canva account um, already at canva.com. You want to come here, you want to click on the link to the template that you would like to customize and it will take you to Canva. Before you do anything, it's going to show you a preview of the image itself. Um, it's going to have you click use template right at the bottom. So as you will see, the title of this is copy of and then the name of the template. This is because it's made a copy now that's saved to your Canva account. So you can go back, change it as much as you want. Um, even when you go back to your home screen, you'll see it there for a while until you delete it. So once you are on the screen, you can customize anything in this image. Um, the template's been put together already, but there's anything you want you can change. You can change the colors, the pictures, the fonts, um, the times, the days of the week, anything you like. So if you want to click, um, if you want to change any text, just click on the text. You'll see in the top bar, you have all sorts of options. You can change the alignment. You can make it italic, bold, you can change the color, and you can also change the font. There are many, many colors, uh, many, many types of fonts and many, many colors to choose from. You can also choose effects, um, give a little shadow, make it hollow, make it neon. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep it simple. So holiday hour. So maybe I don't like this font. So maybe I'll take a different font, this one. Awesome. So I just changed the font. Um, and you can always, and now you can drag it around as much as you want to see where you'd like to place it. A pink line will appear right in the center if you want to keep things centered. So that is where I will leave it. If you don't like the background, you can always click on it. This background is an image, so you can click it and then click delete on your keyboard. And now you'll just see a blank background. You can go up here and click the background color and change the color to whatever you like if you want to play a blank background. But if you want to add a different photo, you click on your left hand sidebar to photos. And then you type in whatever you want to search. Christmas. Let's do that since this is a Christmas themed image. So I like this one with the tree and the ornaments. So you're going to click it. So now it's, you know, it's not the right size. So you can always take the side and drag it. And it doesn't have to be the exact size as the image. It just has to cover the whole thing. So now it's big, but we want it in the back. You go up to position and click to the back. So now you have a beautiful Christmas tree in the background um, instead of the holiday lights that were originally there. So great. After customizing it more, you can click on the text here and change your business hours to whatever they are. You can now go up to download. So when you click download, it's going to give you some options. You can click the file type that you want. Um, you can also click transparent background, comp compress file, but you don't have to worry about transparent background for this one. So I'm going to suggest that PNG and JPEG are the best um, the best file types if you're going to use this on social media. Um, so I would just stick with PNG for pretty much anything you're going to download on Canva unless you're making a PDF brochure or anything like that. So you're going to select that and then you're going to click download and then it's going to download it to your computer, wherever, um, most likely to your desktop or what, whatever browser you're using. So your design's all done and then you can just go find it uh, on your computer and post it to social media. If you ever wanna come back, you can find this template um, and this edited version right on your Canva homepage.